What if we told you that there is a new way of computing that can solve problems that are impossible for conventional computers? A way that can harness the power of quantum physics and artificial intelligence to create a new paradigm of innovation and discovery. Sounds intriguing, right? Well, this is not science fiction. This is quantum computing. And in this video, we will share nine facts about quantum computing and AI that you probably didn't know. Let's start. Quantum computing explained in simple terms. Before revealing the facts about quantum computing, let's first understand what it is and how it works in simple terms. Quantum computing is a new type of computation system that takes advantage of the strange and counterintuitive principles of quantum physics. To understand quantum computing, we first need to understand how traditional computers work. In classical computers, the fundamental unit of information is the bit, which can be either zero or one. All computations are done by manipulating these bits. Quantum computers, on the other hand, use qubits as their basic unit of information. A qubit can also be in a state of zero or one, but uniquely, it can also be in a superposition of states, a sort of blend of zero and one at the same time. This is due to the quantum principle of superposition. Another crucial concept in quantum computing is entanglement. When qubits become entangled, the state of one qubit becomes connected to the state of another, no matter how far apart they are. This means that a change in one qubit will instantaneously affect the state of the other, a property that quantum computers can leverage for faster processing and communication. In theory, quantum computers have the potential to perform complex calculations much faster than any current classical computer. For example, they could greatly speed up searching large databases, factoring large numbers, simulating quantum systems, and more. With that said, here are the top nine facts about quantum computing and AI. Number nine, quantum computers require extremely cold temperature. In the fascinating world of quantum computing, extreme cold is not just a preference, but an absolute necessity. How cold are we talking about? Temperatures close to absolute zero, a staggering minus 273.15 degrees Celsius, or minus 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit. Quantum computers require a colder environment than outer space to minimize interference and stabilize the delicate qubits. The frigid conditions help to suppress unwanted vibrations and prevent particles from interfering with the qubits' delicate quantum states. The quantum computer can perform complex calculations with mind-bending speed and power by keeping the qubits in superposition and entanglement. Number 8. It can solve problems that would take classical computers years to solve. Quantum computers has the astonishing ability to solve problems that would take classical computers years to crack. Yes, you heard that right. A problem that a classical computer would take years or even centuries to solve. With the extraordinary power of quantum computing, that same problem can be conquered in a fraction of the time. For instance, consider the field of drug discovery where finding the perfect molecular structure for a new medication can take years of trial and error. With a quantum computer, scientists can explore a vast search space of possibilities in significantly less time, accelerating the development of life-saving treatments. Researchers have reported reductions of up to 90% in the time required to analyze and optimize drug compounds due to the extraordinary power of quantum computers. The impact of this advancement reaches far and wide, transforming industries and unlocking groundbreaking solutions. Number seven, the power of quantum physics. As we discussed earlier, quantum computing uses the principles of quantum physics to perform computations. So here's a bit more detail about how it does that. Superposition. In classical physics and computing, a system can only be in one state at a time. For example, a coin can be heads or tails, but not both at once. However, in quantum physics, a particle can be in a superposition of states, being in multiple states at once. A quantum bit, or qubit, uses this principle to be in a superposition of zero and one simultaneously. This means a quantum computer can process a vast number of possibilities all at once. Entanglement. Entanglement is a phenomenon where quantum particles become interconnected, and the state of one particle instantaneously influences the state of the other, regardless of the distance between them. In quantum computing, this means the state of one qubit can depend on the state of another, 
providing a highly interconnected system of qubits. This interconnectedness can make quantum computers much more powerful than classical computers for certain tasks, as they can process a huge amount of data simultaneously. Quantum tunneling. Quantum tunneling is another quantum phenomenon that quantum computers can exploit. It refers to a particle's ability to pass through a barrier that it theoretically shouldn't be able to, according to classical physics. This can be used in quantum computing to quickly explore a landscape of possible solutions to a problem and find the best one. These quantum properties enable quantum computers to process information in ways that classical computers can't. However, building a practical quantum computer is a huge technological challenge because these quantum effects are very delicate and easily disturbed by the environment, an issue known as decoherence. This field is still in its early stages and many technical problems remain to be solved. Number six, quantum computing can help optimize global routing. Imagine a world where data flow seamlessly navigates the globe, optimizing global routing for faster and more efficient communication. Well, with quantum computing, this vision is becoming a reality. Studies suggest that implementing quantum computing in global routing can significantly reduce network congestion, improving overall data transfer speeds by up to 70%. These impressive statistics demonstrate the immense potential of quantum computing in optimizing global routing and revolutionizing the way data flows across the world. We all know that traditional routing methods face significant challenges in optimizing network efficiency, leading to congestion, delays, and increased costs. But quantum computing has the potential to reduce network congestion by optimizing routing decisions, resulting in faster data transmission, reduced latency, and improved overall network performance. What else do you need? Number five, the difference between qubits and classical bits. The main differences between classical bits and qubits, quantum bits, have to do with the principles of quantum mechanics. Classical bits. In classical computing, the fundamental unit of data is a bit. Each bit can be in one of two states, either zero or one. You can think of a bit like a light switch. It can either be on or off, but not both at the same time. When you string bits together, you can represent and manipulate more complex information. Qubits. In quantum computing, the fundamental unit of data is a qubit, which stands for quantum bit. A qubit can also be in a state of zero or one, just like a classical bit. However, due to the principle of superposition in quantum mechanics, a qubit can also be in any combination of these states at the same time. This is a bit like if our light switch could be both on and off at the same time. Another key property of qubits is entanglement which allows the state of one qubit to be directly related to the state of another, no matter how far apart they are. If two qubits are entangled, knowing the state of one immediately tells you the state of the other. This doesn't have a good analogy in classical physics, but it's a fundamental part of quantum mechanics and is leveraged heavily in quantum computing. So the key difference is that while classical bits can be in a state of zero or one, qubits can be in a superposition of states and can be entangled with each other. These properties allow quantum computers to potentially process a huge amount of information simultaneously and solve certain types of problems much more efficiently than classical computers. Number four, it is a game changer for cryptography and online security. Quantum computing is not just a buzzword anymore. It's a groundbreaking development that will reshape the future of online security. Quantum computers have the potential to break through current encryption methods used to safeguard our online transactions in a matter of minutes or even seconds. Cybersecurity threats are skyrocketing, posing significant risks to individuals, organizations, and even nations. Traditional encryption methods are becoming increasingly vulnerable to these evolving threats. Here's where quantum computing steps in. Quantum computers possess unparalleled computational prowess enabling them to unravel the complex mathematical algorithms upon which these encryption methods rely. But here's the catch. While quantum computing threatens current encryption methods, it also provides a solution quantum-resistant encryption algorithm. Experts estimate that by 2030, quantum-resistant encryption algorithms will be widely deployed to counter the potential threats quantum computers pose. 
Researchers and experts are actively working towards creating quantum-resistant encryption algorithms that can withstand the formidable computational power of quantum computers. These algorithms will serve as a shield, safeguarding our sensitive data in an era where traditional encryption methods face unprecedented vulnerability. Number three, it can process a vast number of computations simultaneously. The speed of quantum computers isn't measured in the same way as classical computers. In classical computers, we talk about speed in terms of clock cycles, gigahertz, or instructions per second. Quantum computers work differently because they can perform many calculations simultaneously thanks to the principles of superposition and entanglement, which I mentioned earlier. This doesn't necessarily make them faster for all types of computations, but it does mean that they can solve certain types of problems much more efficiently. For example, problems involving factoring large numbers, searching large databases, or simulating quantum systems could potentially be done exponentially faster on a quantum computer. Number two, quantum computing can speed up the learning process of AI. Studies have shown that integrating quantum computing into AI systems can lead to a 35% increase in accuracy and a 75% reduction in training time. The time is not far when quantum computing will accelerate AI learning by up to 1,000 times. Because quantum AI can rapidly analyze massive data sets, identify complex patterns, and make lightning-fast connections that would take traditional AI systems ages to uncover. It can improve AI algorithms using quantum bits or to hold and manipulate information in superposition states, enabling parallel computation and optimization. This means that quantum AI can examine multiple solutions at the same time and find the best one quicker than classical AI. Number one, quantum computers are not easy to build. Quantum computers are incredibly challenging to construct. To construct a quantum computer, scientists and engineers must overcome numerous obstacles. They must create a stable and controlled environment where delicate quantum states can be manipulated and preserved. Furthermore, maintaining superposition is incredibly challenging. Even the slightest disturbance from the outside world can cause qubits to lose their fragile quantum state, resulting in errors and rendering computations useless. The race to build a fully functional, fault-tolerant quantum computer is on, and it involves collaborations between scientists, engineers, and industry leaders worldwide. As of now, quantum computers are still in their infancy, with small-scale systems being developed. However, the progress made so far is outstanding, and the potential impact of fully realized quantum computers is mind-blowing. With each breakthrough, we move an inch closer to unlocking the immense computational power of quantum computers. Let's see where it takes us all. If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.